Today we're gonna to be talking about a microwave and what comes out of a microwave. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. two different meals, same ingredients that we're gonna be cooking in the microwave and one in the oven. And we're gonna be comparing the difference between the two meals. Let's get going. Yum! We're gonna get the chicken out and it smells so good. I can't wait to get it out of here. And I don't think you're gonna pull something like this beauty out of the microwave. Yum! And it's so easy, that's the key. Now what I do is I'm gonna transfer this to a platter and let it sit for just a minute. There we go. Now I'm gonna turn it on high and boil these potatoes for about 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna get our microwave dinner out of the same ingredients. It's gonna be chicken and potatoes. So let me get that and we'll get that started. Now I know they make bigger ones, but mmm, here it is. Let me find the ingredients. Ooh, look at that. It's a book. Does that match the picture? <laughs> I see two things in the picture, chicken and potatoes. What is all that? Is it even food? Let's see now, let's see. Ta-da! Yum, that looks appetizing now. Don't deny it. Which one would you rather eat? I honestly would be ashamed if I served this to anybody. So wait, I have to read how many minutes and how, because I don't even know how to do this, so. But they make it easy for stupid people like me who don't even know how to do it. It's simple. All right, here we go. Look in there, it's magic. Don't film this part, because I truly don't know what do I do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I guess I push Four, there's no point though. Four, oh, it just starts. Three, oh, four minutes. How do you know it's on high? Cook time, time, wait, power, cook. I don't know. Nothing like spinning cheap food. We're gonna get the food out of here. <laughs> Look at that. For all you plastic lovers out there, yum. Okay, so we gotta peel it off there, I guess. Look at that, no lid, it's not a lid, it's plastic covering. Oh, and let me tell you something, it smells sweet. The first aroma that hits me isn't meat and potatoes and gravy, like, mmm, I'm starving, it's, it's sweet. There's gotta be sugar in this. Oh, what a surprise. It's the third ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. Why? Why does there need to be sugar? I mean, would I go like this and take the sugar bowl and sprinkle sugar on my chicken? Why is there sugar in that? This is a dead chicken, we all know that. But look at it, it looks good, it looks appealing. Look at that. That is some sorry, dead look. Even the potatoes, look at the potatoes. They look flat and sad. Okay, let me, cut, let me cut my chicken. Let's scoot that over. Let me scoot this pile of deliciousness over while I cut my chicken. Now this is like, looks so good. I swear I wanna take a bite. Can I be a pig? Okay, look at that. Like when you're cutting it, it smells so good. You want a bite? Mmm, that is good. There's no doubt about it. Okay, and here's another advantage. You have a choice. Dark meat, white meat. When you cook a whole big roast chicken. It's not you get what you get. It's like you can pick what you want. 
My potatoes are almost done, so we have to make the potatoes for this to go along with these scrumptious potatoes over here. But instead of putting the butter, I'm gonna put the sour cream. So let me put a spoonful of this in here. I do think I'm still gonna have to add water. Now another big point and a dynamite point about making your own potatoes is we can add whatever spices we want. Instead of sugar, we're gonna spice ours up with a little garlic, yum. I mean, I do like sugar, don't get me wrong, but I want my cake to smell like sugar and my cookies in my pie. I don't want my food to smell like sugar. Pepper, garlic, there's already salt in there, but I will taste, I'm gonna put a little bit, tiny bit more. This is light salt, half salt, half potassium. What I wanna say is people might be like, oh, but I'm in a hurry, that's why I eat microwave food, because I'm always in a rush. The initial cooking of this, yes, it might take a little more time, but you're gonna have leftovers. So with the leftover chicken, you can make chicken salad or you could put it on lettuce. If you know you're trying to eat healthy, you could just make chicken sandwiches and pack them for your kids or your husband. You can chop up the chicken and make little breakfast taquitos with scrambled eggs and cheese in there. And we do it on the corn tortillas, but you can use the flour. You have so many options. So the initial cooking does take a little bit of time, you know, a little bit of extra time, but we all know you gotta keep eating. So you gotta eat tonight for dinner, you gotta eat tomorrow. So you'll have it already, already. And it'll be healthy, really tasty, good food for your family. So this matches them really easy. And of course, we're not too picky in this family, so if there was a lump in here or whatever, we don't care, we just eat it. Okay, I am gonna take a little tiny taste just to see if I have enough salt and everything. Very good. Okay, so this is ready now. We're gonna plate it up because obviously I would never be like, here you go, love ya. And put this in front of somebody. Just think now, that originated from this. So what cut is that? What is that on there? I couldn't tell you. All right. Now we're gonna do this, which I'm gonna do the leg and the thigh because I find everybody loves when I serve them the leg and the thigh. You know what this is. You're, it's not mystery meat. You're like, okay, it's a leg and a thigh. Here's the real potatoes. I'm, I don't even make gravy because I don't like gravy. But these are tasty potatoes, so you don't need gravy, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is we always like to have cranberry sauce. Here we go, we're gonna put a little, little blob. There's no vegetables, I know that, but you know. I'm trying to kind of copy that and it didn't come with vegetables. So I'm trying to make the same thing. So we're gonna put a little cranberry sauce near both. There we go. In all honesty, if you were sitting at the table and somebody was serving you, which one would you prefer? The sugary sweet smelling one that just smells like sugar and looks like a mystery because you can't identify exactly what it is. Or the real deal, yum. In fact, I'm gonna turn the camera off and eat this. Garlic and um, parsley mashed potatoes, a drumstick and a thigh. Scott gets to eat this one. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna taste it, just to be fair. Because I'm actually not a picky eater at all. So let me just say. Like you can't identify anything in there. It doesn't taste like potatoes. It doesn't taste like garlic. It's salty. It's very, very salty. Okay, as far as the chicken goes, let me just say, oh, this might be a chicken breast, let's see. I mean, I would say it's edible. It's not spectacular. Even though, like I said, it's edible, a little salty. I can smell the sweet sugar. Who wants to eat all those chemicals? I don't. I want to try to be healthy. And I also don't think this promotes like a loving home feeling when you're like, here you go. Took four minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, this shows mama loves you. Mama loves you. Look what she made. And this is pretty lame because I didn't even make vegetables and stuff. But that's the message I get from this. And it tastes good. And on this one, you do think, mm, okay, make a roast chicken again and you want it again. Okay, another issue I have with a microwave is like, where do you keep it? 
I, I love my cute little kitchen. It's just so nice. And when you plop the microwave on the counter, in my opinion, it ruins it. It ruins the whole flow, the vibe, the character. I guess, I guess if it was black, it might look better. I don't know. But anyway, I just think it's hideous. So I would say, do yourself a favor and simplify. You know, some people might say, well, I need my microwave because I like to warm things up, but I warm everything up on the stove. Why do you think I have all these little pots and pans up here? And I would much rather look at that than that, personally. If you wanna do yourself and your family a favor, cook all your meals on your stove. They'll thank you for it because it'll be tasty and healthy. Do yourself a favor and simplify. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to beckyshomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help us a lot. And if you want to find out every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email me and Doodles. Happy homesteading. Bye-bye. Mario doesn't like it. Mario.